Hey guys, good day guys. Um, my name is Sandra, I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Oka, Anambra State. If you are new to this channel, welcome. You are on the right channel. So guys, I'm on my way right now to the family house. My mom called me and said I should come over that. Um, there's something she wants me to do for her. So I don't know what it is, but then I'm going. I have to obey before complain. You know, we that we grew up in a family where you don't say no to your parents. I just have to get Danny and Sammy ready and then I'm on my way right now to the family house. So let me carry you guys along. This is another vlog. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another vlog. So see you guys when I get to the family house. Take a paper and start making me every star. So guys, I just got here. I'm at the family house now. I'm about to go in and um, see why mom called me to... Okay, let me go through the back. See why mom called me. So... I'll carry you guys along as I go. It's sunny here. Wow. Our sheep just gave birth. I'm so, so excited. Chala. Chala, 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 chala. <laughs> my mom's sheep she just gave birth to two babies wow <laughs> shall I <quit>? shall I baby <laughs> you guys see new baby baby sheep uh -huh. welcome dear it's not easy you tried you tried you tried you tried you try. <laughs> Welcome. So guys, I'm done here. Where is the second baby? The second baby sheep. Okay. Shall I leave the road? Let me see the second one. Okay, this one is Ramo. Hey, Now what? And this one is Wow. Wow. I'm so so happy. I'm so so happy. Shala, I brought bre bread for you. Oh yeah, come and eat bread. I brought bread for the sheep. You can see she's coming already because she knows that we used to give her bread. So guys. You guys have to pardon me because I'm the one opening the bread and I'm still going to be the one to to give her the bread. Okay, here we go. All right. You can see she's taking it from me. Okay. Taking it from me. So, guys, this is just how I want to do my own omugo for this sheep. The last time she uh, gave birth, she had three. That's three plates. You can imagine if she is to be a human being, and this time around, she has uh, two now. She had two this time, so. I just have to do little lomugo for this wonderful sheep. And she behaves like a human being. As you're looking at that, she behaves like a human being. Like she can follow you to, to anywhere you're going and come back to the house with you. Without you having to call her. So, so guys, you can see 
This is what we do here. I'm here to go inside. But I guess my mom knows I'm around already. I can see Chiamaka. I think they know I'm around, so I just have to go in. But I say, let me come and see the new mom. So guys, let me go in and get to meet mom. I'll carry you guys along. Whatever it is, the reason why she called me, I'm going to be just... So guys, I'm inside now. Like, I'm with my mom. I'm with my mom. <laughs> so guys, guess what? We are going to the farm. That is even why she calls me. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, um, we are going to the farm. Hey guys, so as you can see, I've changed into my farming regalia. You can see now I'm putting on my, I've changed my clothes. Like we are set to go to the farm. My mom said we are going to the farm. So as soon as I'm done eating this bitter leaf, I'll carry you guys along to the farm. You guys will get to see what I do here. Like my family experience and the rest of them. And I'm also going to promise you guys that I'm going to be bringing up a video with my mom. It's going to be um, talking about how to her life and how she raised us and the rest of them. The challenges she had raising us and the rest of them. So she also got married early in life, so she will be gisting us too. So for now, um, I just have to end up taking my bitter leaf. This is bitter leaf squeezed bitter leaf if you are evil you should know about this it's very very good to the body that's what i'm taking now and as soon as i'm done we we'll head off to the farm so see you guys shortly so guys we are at the farm right now and um, i've not started my channel when we did this one when we did this one so i I just have to like show you guys like some of the things that I think you need to know about farm work. I wish I have started my farm. Like I've started my channel when you know we are still doing this one from the clearing of the bush to the from the clearing to the cultivating of this ones, like planting the corns and the rest of them. But then I've not started, so I just have to carry you guys along and show you the little I can. So that's the zoo. Now this corn now is in the first stage. After this stage, it's going to like grow again and grow. By the time it's taller than this, it will start bringing out all those things, signs to show you that it's about to start bearing, uh, start having corn seeds, like bearing fruit. So, but for now, it's still in the early stage. In the early stage, oh, this one is actually doing well. And I don't think they have fruit fertilizer. Mommy, you take your fertilizer, Nidia. It's in a very fertilizer. It's in a very fertilizer. Here we farm with fertilizer. We use fertilizer to grow the things because this land was cultivated two years ago. Yeah, three years ago. And now again, we just cultivated it again now. It was cultivated three years ago and now we started again like cultivated it again for this year you can see we have cassava here this is the cassava stem this is the cassava stem you just the stick that you put this one now is the cassava stick as you can see this is cassava stick and this is green vegetable the green vegetable there is no fertilizer yet and it is doing this good the reason why you have to leave a farm for like three years two three years give it space before you cultivate again is so that the farm will at least breathe and we are it to make hope to make so when you plant it because cassava stays two years at least two years yes mommy had this farm right you know whatever whatever any music you know how to dance very well even in your old age you can still dance it very very well so when you leave the land the cassava stays two years 
on the land. By the time we harvest all these things, corn, um, the green vegetables, every other thing, by the time we finish harvesting them, the cassava will remain here for another two years before you can now um, harvest the cassava. You harvest every other thing and leave the cassava before you now harvest the cassava. So this one now, they have cleared it for the first time. This was done about, let's say, two months ago. Let's just say one month plus now, or two months ago. And we have, they have uh, weeded off the grasses. You can see the grasses here. You can see the grasses for the very first time. Although we don't do this one by ourselves. But there were days back then that I do it myself. But now we employ people to come and weed it. But planting of all these things, we do it ourselves because you need to give space. Okay, let me use this one for example. Like on this particular ridge now, this particular one now, you just have to put five cones on each one, depending on the size of the ridge. So that is just... So as you can see, some of the cassava is already bringing out leaves. This one now is already growing. After this set now, by the time the cassava comes out, because it's only the stick that you put, like something like this, is the stick that you put. For the ibos. After this one grows now, there are some that will die. All of them are not going to grow. Yes, it's not all of them that will grow. So by the time those ones that died, you need to redo it again. You have to go one after another again on the bridge to find out the ones that did not grow. You now put another cassava, make sure it grows. Because that way you get more cassava on the farm. So this one now, you can just eat this one. Although it's not yet uh, ready. You can just eat this one now. It is garden egg. This is garden egg leaf. You eat it, it's very, very good. This is the one that bears that seed that we all know. But this is Ibo Ori, local garden egg leaf. This is a wedu for the Yorubas. If you are Yoruba and you are watching this, this is a wedu. This is a wedu for the Yorubas. And in Ibo, we call it Arera. Arera in Ibo. This is corn. Oka. Yes. This is corn in Ibo. Then, we also have some other things on this farm. I've shown you guys cassava. I've shown you the, the green vegetable. I've shown you the awedu. I've shown you the, the garden egg. Yes. That is also. Now, we don't plant yam. We don't plant that. But we have some other yam, that, some other farms that we planted yam. But for this one, we don't plant yam. On this particular one. So like I told you guys, once the corn leaves this, I can see this one was done yesterday. This weeding was done yesterday. This weeding now was done yesterday. The reason why they they have to leave, they pack out the leaves and keep it in the middle is so that it will dry here. By the time the sun comes on it now, it will dry off here and die there. When after weeding, you don't have to leave it like scatter it when you are weeding. Like when you are pulling it out, you just have to pack it one side and keep it. But this one they used ho. If you know ho, some people use cutlass too. But because of the young um, plants here, like the things that we planted, you just have to use ho on this particular one. Now, all these small, small things here, all these small, small garden egg here, these ones, we have not planted this one. This one, you just put the seed. You just put the seed here in the middle of the ridges. You can see it. It's also here. It's also here. This one is pumpkin. This is pumpkin. It is the seed that you plant. When you get the seed, when it's alive, you will know. When the seed is alive, you will know. You plant it. It will now germinate inside and bring out the and bring out this leaf. Now this one is not due for eating yet. At least in another two, three months, you'll be able to cut. This one, or in another one month plus, you'll be able to cut this one. So, all these ones that we planted here, we now separate it. This is the one that you can separate. When you bring out one like this, okay, let's just say I bring out one like this, something like this. Then you now plant it. This is how you plant it. This is how you plant it. This one now it will grow. It will grow and be like this. And be like those big ones I showed you guys before. Coco yam. This one was done last year. This is part of the one that we did last year. But then it didn't do well. This particular place did not do well because of this shade. The shade of this tree. 
because of the shade of this Odara tree. Yes, this is star apple tree. Star apple, we call it Odara in Igbo. This is Odara tree. So some of you that know me off social media, you know now, every season I used to give people this Odara. This is that Odara that everybody that knows me used to lick. Even the people I used to send to go to Abuja, Lagos, this is the Odara. So guys, this particular place, if you watch, it didn't do well. This place did not do well because of the shade of this um, tree. Because of the shade of this tree. Because for your crops to do well, you need both the sun and the rain. So because the sun does not get to this place because of this shade, this area did not do well. Let me carry you guys along to the area that did very well. That was the one we did last year. So guys, this is the one we did last year. All these places. Down, down, down. It's very big. It's a very big, uh, it's a very big farm. This is the one we did last year. This cassava is called Aketo. This is Aketo. This particular one is called Aketo. So guys, as you can see, this one now, whenever you want to farm, start before you start farming, before you even start um, clearing the farm to cultivate it, you just have to bring out a space like this, like this corner now, and put the seed of maybe green vegetable, then garden egg seed, angara, angara, and then ulu green. Raya one place, you just do a garden and put it, because you have to transplant these ones. Like all these ones, now you don't just allow them to grow from here. All these ones, we are going to transplant them. By the time we cultivate maybe another farm now, because we are not done yet for the year, we have done two. I and my mom, we have done two, but we are not done yet for the year. So by the time we cultivate maybe another farm, we'll come here and bring up these ones and take it to the new farm. That is the ones you plant. You separate them on the farm. And that is the one that grows into that garden egg leaf that you used to see in the market. So this is just how to... This one is just um, the primary part of farming. You just have to do this one first. Make a garden and get your crops ready for transplanting. So you can see, this is the one we did last year. Last year, we got a lot of, as you can see, we have removed corn. We have removed so many vegetables from this farm. And at the end of the day, we have um, cassava left. We have cassava left. This is cassava. I mean, any Igbo person, only you walk on a baton, you'll be afford the apple. Okay, they have to get away hope for next year because there is cassava in this particular farm now. So it is a work that we did last year, and this year is the year by this time next year we will start harvesting all this. Cassava. Okay, this is pepper. This one now is pepper. Now yeah, I will see. You can see the seed. This is pepper. Red pepper. It is still green. Maybe in a week or two weeks time now, it will turn red as you are looking at it. So we also have plant pepper. When you are a farmer, majority of the things you eat will be fresh things from your farm. So I just love farming. This cassava is called some pepper. This one now is called some pepper. This type of cassava. Then we have another type of cassava on this farm. We have two types of cassava on this farm. Upolo red. Upolo rubber. Upolo rubber. There is another one. Another one. This one there is canopy. This one is canopy. You can either call it canopy or mpolo red. Okay, look at it over there. So, yes, there's another one. There's another one too that you we call on on one. We have mpolo rubber. We have opolo red. We have um some paper. We have canopy. So different types of cassava. Like I'm just so excited showing you guys all these things because. Um, I'm not as, as ashamed of my hustle anyway. Majority of the people that knows me knows that I do farm work. There is no year once the rain starts falling, we get things ready, fertilizer, uh, get uh, people that do the uh, help, help us to do the farm work, like cultivating it. I can't do that one, but doing garden like this, I can do it. Planting the things, I can do it. Weeding, I can do it. Do you get so? That is just what I do, guys. And I'm 
So guys, I just want you guys to like get to meet my mom again. Uh, you you guys already know her, but then we are in this together. So I just want her to tell us um some of the things about this uh, farm work. Do you get? So she'll be talking to us in Igbo. If you don't understand Igbo, I'm sorry. I'll subtitle the little way I can. So mommy, actually, mm -hmm. uh, my uh, viewers and my YouTube fans, Oluwa kita, Mama, but how am I? So I chomp you, it call all her. Oh, Billy. I know, and the bag may come with it. Luba, yeah, you can name me, Monia. Yes, meet up on a name, me. Yes, you are who go on about doing the winner. Where's the child with them? Yes, tell my come. Oh, look when they be do, let it come where we need to do as a way. April, Abo <laughs> Oh, special ones, special. All the special. I can't be aware. Just before now, don't you? I don't matter. We will check it. We will check it. We will check it. I borrow it. I borrow it. I borrow it. So, we will let you know. So, I am very, very happy because I am a little ego. Like this year, all the people who are living there, mama, man, over there, mama, we are not seeing on the Obonye. No Obonye now. No, they are not half of an hour. Obonye. In a little Obonye, no see, can no Obonye. Obonye, half of a cup. Maki wo bro mari na na eme we re enwe ti na acho iwo oge eli aburo ole abufu na utu si gota kwa na utu si gota kwa maka olu gba o tinye eli tinye mo di abufu obulo ga abufu ma ni ni emi ewo lo bu ocha na emi e ime ina yera mali na 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 lu olu gbo ni cause ana na ere mo do olu gbo na re inwe ike dress e na aga lo zo nya fu wo si ni se ogudo yi ba na ta iwo le le ara ko Agwamagaginezunono Wele a long, wele a go long, what do you do? We call a benedic, go machine. Now, motorcycle, what do they do? Go moto. Like you can have been dead, you go look over the foot table. So I name you to a no one. And then you are about why you shall have a year about last year. Last year, about uncle last year. Why do you bear? No, 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 Okay, we are a business, Mokabazoa, Mokabalo, no evil. Money, no, 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 Uno no kato na ti o kwani he na ana. Ni ye ti ye na ana se na nka aja aja na emege na ebuto onu mmanu mmanu. 
Okay, this is angara when it is still very small before it now grows to that stage that you guys saw in the other farm so that is the, this is the corn you can see these corns are very small they are still very tender so this is one of the people that worked for us he just went to clear a farm now he just went to clear um, a new farm he just went to clear a new farm where we'll be cultivating next week they just clear it we just need to allow the sun to dry the leaves and then we put fire on the farm it will burn and we now gather the sticks and take them out of the farm for people that will now cultivate it and make bridges like this so right now he's here to cut this uh tree because of what i told you guys about the shade last time he's here to cut down this one He's just, he just has to cut it down so that sun will get to it. If you watch now, there is sun, but sun did not get to that place. That means the crops there is not going to do well. If there is no sun on that, uh, touching this place, the crops are not going to do well. So they just have to cut this particular tree now, at least to make the sun get to the farm. And this one, maybe you guys will be wondering why we put this and all these things. It's just to scare away the things that come to eat the corn yes because when you put this corn the corn seed if you don't put things like this to scare um those animals away like squirrel they will come and open it and eat the corn and uproot it like they will bring out this corn seed line by line they will put it line by line and eat all the corn seed that is the way they feed that so in order to scare them away you put things like this at night when breeze blow like this they will run away and think maybe uh, there are human beings on the farm so that is just it guys this is my space and i hope i'm not taking too much of your time like i'm so excited carrying you guys along to show you guys what i do i'm not ashamed of my hustle like i said earlier so because by the time i start harvesting crops and i'm making money from this farm you guys are going to be so shocked together me and my mom we collaborate and do this we also do another business that i'm, I'm going to be showing you guys soon that one is cassava business i'm going to be bringing it to this channel soon so but for now let's just see this one so guys this is just what i do i'm not ashamed of my hustle at all because it's part of what helped me when raising my two kids after we located from the east from lagos down to the east like i had to join my mom again start all over because i i asked naga the one i had a kankane woman i'm used to it like this is what i i do when growing up i grew up as a farmer do you get helping my mom and all that so that is just my space. This is one of my major business. Like this is one of my major business, guys. So, um, it's not only old women, old people that farm. I farm too. Like I farm too. Whenever I um the rain starts falling, we also farm because it's part of our family. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this vlog. And if you do, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and please. I'm begging subscribe to my channel and I promise to be bringing you guys more stories and more things that um, especially the things that you people are not that used to I just promise so guys please do not forget to like comment share and please subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video bye guys